Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie That's Me here. Welcome back to the channel, the backup channel, Jamie That's Media. Listen, I already dropped a short for you guys and I wanted to talk about the Chris Rock and Will Smith situation. Now, I don't know all of the deets, I'll be honest. I have not watched the special. I actually forgot the special was coming on. Um, and maybe that's because Chris Rock has never been one of my number one favorite comedians, you know, or any of my top, in all honesty, because times when I've watched his comedy, I couldn't just really get, like, you have have to have a certain type of mind you have to digest comedy in a certain way in my opinion in order to like really get with Chris Rock but that's just again my opinion so I didn't even get a chance to catch it but I do see that there are a lot of people that are upset about some of the things that he said and before the special even dropped I believe it was uh, two days prior to the special dropping there was some things that was being said y'all know the special was filmed live so what they were saying is that Rock was kind of like testing out some different jokes when it came down to the Will Smith matter because he has yet to respond. I feel like it's a full year to the date and he is now finally having something to say about the slap that Will Smith gave him in front of the entire world. Okay. And maybe different universes saw it as well, but let's go ahead and get into what they're saying. I'm over here on the neighborhood talk. Um, then I'll move over to what some of the tweets said and um, probably wrap it up from there. But let's see what they're saying. They're saying, neighbors, if you're like me, then you're tired of talking about the Chris Rock and Will Smith slap. But unfortunately, the conversation isn't ending anytime soon because Chris is finally ready to speak on it during his up and coming Netflix live comedy show. All right. Leading up to the show, Chris is reportedly testing some jokes and he isn't holding back about how he feels about Will Smith. Smith. Multiple news outlets were able to obtain some of the test jokes Chris is exploring before his live Netflix comedy special this weekend. During his set at a comedy club in Manhattan, Chris let a few jokes off about the infamous slap that is coming up on his one year anniversary. All right. They're saying Chris jokes that he watched Will Smith's movie Emancipation just to see the actor tortured all right he also joked about how he heard one of will smith's songs ringing in his ear after the incident okay this is what he said he's being quoted to say the other day i watched emancipation just so i could watch him getting whipped hmm that's what one of the jokes said he goes on to say the thing people want to know did it hurt hell yeah it hurt he played muhammad ali i played pookie even in animated movies, I'm a zebra. He's a fucking shark. I got hit so hard, I heard summertime ringing in my ears. He goes on to say, Will Smith is a big dude. I am not. Will Smith is shirtless in his movies. If you see me in a movie getting open heart surgery, I'm going to have on a sweater. Okay? So this is what it, Mr. Chris Rock had to say. And I just want to kind of scroll down and see what some of the comments were giving regarding this uh, this particular matter. You have some people dropping gifs that's kind of like, what the hell he's saying? What is he saying? Um, you have some people say, when I say he always gave me sellout vibes he did how was a black man you happy to see uh that for another i swear some people don't need to be big okay um someone else goes on to say at this point chris is seeking attention he has profited greatly from an incident that will apologize for multiple times i kind of agree with that statement um, he's definitely profiting off of it. And if I was in his position, I couldn't say that I wouldn't do the same thing. Um, the incident happened to him. It didn't happen to anybody else. So in my personal opinion, how he chooses to make comedy and make light of the situation is on him. Um, I do have a slight issue where I'm like, you can go around and kind of make fun of it um, because it happened to you. That's your right. But you ain't going to accept this man call <laughs> at least to hear the apology. Are you going to at least do that? Now you can accept it or decline it. It's totally up to you. But can you at least pick up the phone and hear his apology? Okay. That's I'm like, you you around here, you know, you on a whole a tour talking about it or whatever the case is. Um, are you going to at least, you know, act like you're going to accept it or at least act like you're going to hear him out? That's what I'm wondering. But at the end of the day, I feel like this. That sh happened to that man. And how that man want to go about it, he can go about it whatever way he, he wants. Um, people in uproar, this is why I love so much that he named it selective outrage, because y'all do have selective outrage, which is so comical to me. You're upset because this man said he watched a film only to see another man get whipped? Girl, 
a lot of a lot of people in the hood be going after they ops. Girl, they be they do what they do just to see their ops get clapped. You know, um, so I'm like him watching a movie. Like I, I see nothing wrong with that. A lot of y'all have wished, I'm sure, worse on people in silence. So, um, or not in silence, but in private. So I just don't see the big deal that people are trying to make. I just mm, Will has been able to go on, and I love me some Will Smith down. Don't get me don't get me wrong. He's been able to go on and even be able to create, promote a movie like um, Emancipation, even after what he did in front of the worldwide stage. And you mean to tell me that Chris Rock can't get up there and make jokes, whether you find it comical or not? Like, that's what he does. That's why he called this selective outrage, because he likely already knew once he get up here and tell these jokes, there are so many people that are Team Will Smith that y'all really not going to hear or care about anything he has to say. And in all honesty, he hasn't talked about it a lot. He kept putting it off. He said, oh, I'll address it here. I'll address it there. He hasn't really talked about it when people want him to talk about it. Yet some of the comments that I've seen have said, oh, he's still talking about it. He's still like, girl, he can, he can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. Now, maybe two years from now, I'll be like, okay, baby, you dragging it. Now, you done drug it a long time, right? But he hasn't been saying anything. He's finally talking about it. And I feel like he could talk about it in whichever way he wants. And here's the fact for me is that he's slick dragging himself. This incident happened to him, and he willing to get on this stage and still insult and make fun of himself about how he isn't where Will Smith is or he's not as strong as Will Smith. And he, like, he could have took all kind of jab, jabs and dogged the fuck out of Will Smith on that stage. And rightfully so because the man slapped the fire out of him. Right? So if he wants to say whatever he wants to say, it is what it is. And let me tell you one thing Will Smith going to do. Not a damn thing. He's going to sit up there. He's going to take it. He's going to accept it. It is what it is. Because he brought this on himself. I don't understand. He's the victim in this situation, in all honesty. So I don't understand how y'all sitting up here trying to make this man sound crazy. Like, he can say what he want. Like, I, I just don't see the big deal. Um, somebody says Chris Rock making a joke about a movie depicting the abuses in slavery and saying how he watched it to see a, another black man get whipped to an arena of his white fans is, what, is why some of us never cared about him getting slapped in the first place. Um... I didn't care either way. I'll be honest because, you know, I love me some Will Smith. And I'm like, hey, you talk, you get you get hit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Okay? He didn't have to walk up there and stop that man. But that's not the reason why a lot of people never cared about him getting slapped in the first place. I just think that he's never really been their type of T. And I just, I still don't see nothing wrong. Like, he watched just the, I mean, I don't understand the big deal about it that he said he watched the show just for a person to get whipped um, in front of a white audience. So would you have liked it better if it was a different movie? And he said, oh, I watched the show just for, just to see him get his ass kicked in front of white folks. Like, I just feel like, again, y'all are having selective outrage. And I feel like if the roles were reversed and this was Chris Rock that slapped the fire out of Will Smith and Will Smith went on to do a comedy set or went on to do a show and he referenced this incident and said, oh, I just watched such and such to watch, um, I just watched such and such to see Chris Rock get himself whipped. Y'all would have nothing to say. As much as I love Will Smith, I do feel like he was wrong to walk up there and slap that man like that. But y'all would have nothing to say, and I feel like he titled his stuff perfectly. And even more than anything, Chris Rock don't give a fuck about nothing that any of us are talking about. Because that man made millions off of that Netflix, and he's about to go and collect that coin and move the hell on. He's over there, girl, probably on a flight out the state. I mean, out the country. He not even, girl, y'all could be over here talking. Yo, your conversations can't even reach as high as I am. So, I mean, y'all do have selective outrage, in my opinion. Um, and I'm with him. It happened to him. He can say whatever the hell he wants to say. He's probably already been saying it in front of whatever audience. Like, I just don't, I mean... And then it's like y'all talking about, oh, well, he's saying this in front of his white audience. So for me, I'm it's giving and because let's be honest, that's always been his audience. We have not. We have not been tuned into Chris Rock like that. Maybe Dave Chappelle, but not no damn Chris Rock. So for y'all to try and pick and choose and be, oh my God, oh uh, he's saying this in front of white people. Oh my God, oh my God. Girl, don't, he's always said shit in front of white people because that's his audience. Them the ones that's helped him get to where he at financially. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? To me, in my opinion, so I feel like that's been a, that's always been his audience. And if it was me in that situation, and I got slapped the hell out of, and I ain't hit the whole back or nothing like that, then I am gonna I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say, especially if I have grounds to say what I wanna say after being knocked the fuck out. Like, girl, be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad. Period. Um. Somebody says it's disappointing because Chris Rock's the Netflix uh, delivery is so extra, but the topics of his jokes are so boring. He literally acting all hyped up just to do it. I guess maybe that's the main thing uh, supposed to keep people awake. I mean, it also was filmed live, so I feel like maybe that maybe he had a lot of a lot of pressure on him. Maybe it was a little different versus you know him doing his thing and it being chopped up, edited to make it look like he probably had all the energy in the world and pushed out there, this is a little different. You know what I'm saying? Because it was filmed live. But also, it could be that he didn't want to do it. Maybe he's tired of being asked about it. Maybe he wants to forget it and move on, which is why he only gave y'all a little bit of what he gave y'all towards the end of the damn comedy special. It could be that, you know? Um... Yeah, and it's it's so funny to me because a lot of y'all tuned in for the mess, and it seems like y'all didn't even get nothing. <laughs> That's the comical part. Chris Rock saying what he has to say is a conversation about topics people don't want to talk about with comedy and jokes. People will be offended for sure, but Chris definitely has the nerve to speak out using his platform. Somebody said, I laughed twice. Come on, Chris. Girl, I never laughed that much when I listened to him. Who's going to say it first? Which podcast going to call this hot garbage all right somebody says he's trying too hard to unwoke um it's not working desperately to say everything about everything and it's not working okay somebody says it's been 40 minutes and i still have not laughed after watching chris rock on netflix for 30 minutes i had to turn it off and that's all i am going to say now again i have not watched it but I will say, should I do cut it on, I promise y'all my thoughts may not be too different because I've never taken a liking to any of his comedy ever. He was never that comical to me. But I also know that I was never his audience as well. OK, I feel like Chris Rock, Chris Rock give us, gives us dry comedy. And again, you got to be a special type of person to accept dry comedy. And I want my comedy as wet as I can get it because I love to laugh damn near like I'm about to pee myself. That's what I mean by wet, okay? I'm talking about laugh so hard that tears coming out my eyes. I need wet comedy, not dry, okay? But that's just me. So I'm sure they have some valid points based on the type of comedy that they like to digest. But it seems like a lot of people uh, were not here for it. But I want to hear y'all thoughts. How did y'all feel? Did you think that he should have never, you know, said anything about the emancipation comment as far as Will Smith? Let me know your thoughts because I feel like the people are being biased and selective here. But that's all I got. I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.